What's going on, Jerome's? The Minnesota Fighting Vikings are back at it at TCO Performance Center Bar and Grill for the second week of off-season workouts. And Kevin O'Connell uh, fed the local media jackals on Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Nailed it. Uh, talking about uh, talking about the off-season program as well as Daniil Hunter and Kirk Cousins and Kellamon and Irv Smith, etc. So let's dive on in. Uh, also, that jawline. Man, it's like it's carved out of granite. Like, I feel like he is the fifth head on Mount Rushmore. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, so at the top, uh, t uh, these are all from Thomas and Pioneer Press. Go. Uh, Vikings coach Kevin O'Connell is excited about being able to get out and do some coaching of players on the field when Phase 2 starts next week. So workouts are nice, uh, and it's good to see the players interact with each other and in the locker room and on the field. But actual coaching coaching in football situations you know busting out those uh you know those rugby padded helmets and just getting it yeah that football guy is gonna football guy also on Kellamon, uh Vikings coach uh, KOC on Kellen uh, I'm just excited to get on the grass with him next week uh said he has good athleticism and accuracy but it's up to him how good he could be and the thing about Kellamon is I think that Kevin O'Connell sees a little bit of himself in Kellamond, where you have this guy uh, where he's tall, he is fast, he's got a big time arm, was a third round pick, and uh, Kevin O'Connell never really got the time of day. He never really ascended uh, into panning out some of that potential. So I think that Kevin O'Connell uh, could see a kindred spirit in Kellamond. Now, Kellamond is a little bit quiet, a little bit reserved, uh, but he is a guy that got it done at Texas A&M, broke all of, all, almost all of uh, Jared Johnson, uh, the new Vikings assistant to the regional quarterbacks coach, uh, his records uh, at Texas A&M. And I do think that uh, after getting, uh, a, after being on the field and able to work with Kellamond, the Vikings will have a good idea if he is going to be the quarterback of the future or if they need to go fish uh, and potentially take a quarterback in the draft. So these next couple weeks are really important important for uh, Kellamon making an impression on the new regime who did not draft him but I, I do think that the uh, I do think that the parallels between KOC and Kellamon are, are certainly there and will help him uh, next up all this on Irv Smith Vikings coach Kevin McConnell on tight end Irv Smith Jr. is right on schedule with his recovery and the Vikings aren't going to rush him as he comes back from his knee injury which is good news because uh, initially we didn't hear the whole right on schedule thing uh, a couple weeks ago when uh, Kevin McConnell had a presser it was the whole we're going to take it very slow with him now uh, out of an abundance of caution yes I understand that and then Irv, uh, they also said Irv uh, back in fine form after meniscus injury get him right back where he was if not better stronger and now Irv is supposed to have that breakout year in year three uh, but the meniscus right before the start of the season just like hurt, man. That hurt more than this deep V. Uh, and Irv is supposed to bust out, except Gron Gronklin got the bust out, then he got paid by the Jets, so respect to him. Uh, now Irv has a chance because he's in the final year of his rookie deal. And even though the Vikings, the offense may not be as tight end heavy or tight end friendly as previous years, I, I do think that Kevin O'Connell, he won't try and put square peg in a round hole, uh, I think that he'll see that he has a great talent at tight end and Irv Smith uh, and adjust the scheme accordingly. You know, maybe he'll be a Tyler Higley plus uh, in the Vikings offense this time around. Next up, uh, Vikings coach Kevin O'Connell on uh, said Kirk Cousins leadership is showing so far in spring drills. He's sitting front and center each meeting. He's been able to take the reins and run with it. And when Kirk got here in 2018, they, they've even talked about this dynamic where he as the quarterback, as you know, the big time contract guy, he was expected to come in and, and be that dude. Except he, he wasn't, because the Vikings from 2017 into 2018 had a very veteran laden team. Uh, I mean, you had Linval, you had Everson, uh, you had Kyle Rudolph, uh, you had a, a bunch of veteran players. That was like, hey, this is our team, and now we have an interloper coming in. Shoot, shoot. You you had a uh, Anthony Barr was here too. Uh, so you had a team that had a lot of veterans that had had some success uh, without Kirk. Cousins. So the first couple years, I mean, Kirk really was kind of quiet and awkward. He's really out on his own, blah, blah, blah. But if, as you've seen through recent years, as Kirk has gotten more comfortable, uh, he has taken more uh, more of a leadership role. And I think last year, this is uh, this was firmly his team uh, after Kyle Rudolph was gone, after Linval was gone. Now Anthony Barr is gone. E Everson's gone now, too. So this is definitely Kirk Cousins' team. I'm glad that he's taking the reins. Also, I don't think it's a coincidence that the the correlation between Kirk Cousins taking a leadership role and his level of play uh, in the last two years, well, 2020 after the bye, uh, has gone up precipitously. So I I'm really glad to see what Captain Kirk can do this year. Uh, on Jalen Twyman. 
says that he's doing well and is really dialed into meetings and is among the young players uh, who has a chance to ascend as he comes back after missing all of his rookie season. And, and Twyman, he's been posting on the gram. Uh, they've been getting it, and I, I'm I'm really happy for him because Twyman was a player that was coming in with a chip on his shoulder anyway. Fell to the sixth round, uh, sat out 2020, had an extremely productive 2019 season. Then he had the setback uh, with uh, you know the gunshot wounds. Now he has a chance to come in and really impress. So I, I, I'm rude for him, man. Like, I, I can't wait to see him at camp. I can't wait to see him uh, in preseason and really getting things done. Lastly, uh, Kevin O'Connell said, Daniil Hunter is moving around great as he comes back from injury. Uh, well, he had a pec injury, so I, I hope he's moved around great. Uh, said he's learning a new defense. He's learning ultimately how he's going to fit in. Uh, Kevin O'Connell said Hunter is going to be a major factor against the run and the pass. Now, I, I do think that I do think that Daniil is going to play a lot of five tech uh, when the Vikings play an odd front. Uh, so you know, three down defensive lineman was there's a three four or a three three five because he has the size, he has the strength to do that. And when they say uh, against the run, uh, that's what it means to me more as uh, versus if you think of like a three four outside linebacker. Ah, they're. Yeah, they're there against the run, except they're not. That's not their primary job. And I think that there is going to be spots where the Vikings do find ways to have Daniil and Zadarius and DJ Wanham on the field at the same time. Uh, whether it's uh, Zadarius and DJ standing up and Daniil with his hand in the dirt or some combination uh, therein. So yeah, Daniil he, he's going to play all over the place. Like I don't think that he's going to have a set position uh, like a lot of you know the elite edge rushers in this game, which is fantastic about Daniil because he's such a team player that he will do that even uh, though he's going to be doing the dirty work dirt McGurk uh, and not put up as many sack numbers as some of the other guys the fact that you know before he got hurt uh, Daniil put up back-to-back 14 and a half sack seasons when he was rushing uh, from the open side of the field excuse me close side of the field nailed it it's early today whatever uh so he was still taking on the strong side he was taking on right tackles and tight ends and fullbacks and the quarterback could see him he could still get after that so i think that he'll be on both sides uh whether it's an odd or even front i think that he'll he will have some stand up i think he may kick inside sometimes so 99 uh, defenses are going to have 99 problems and daniel is all of them in next year uh but that's it uh let's take a look at kevin o'connell's presser whoops nailed it Really good today. Uh, let us know your thoughts on our thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Must support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, skull production value. Well, I, I guess it, it would have been more embarrassing if this was like all K-pop because I, I'm a big BTS fan. What can you do? Anyways, there you go.